I'm back with more book recommendations, and today we're going to talk about five books that I hardly, if ever, see on BookTok and Bookstagram, but that I think should be talked about more often. Okay, so first we have Fourth Wing. I'm just kidding. Our actual first book is Princess of Souls, and this is written by the same author that wrote To Kill a Kingdom, which is a fantastic Little Mermaid retelling, and this one is very loosely a Rapunzel retelling about a witch who's been groomed her entire life to steal souls, and the boy who's determined to kill her, um, who her fate is now tied to. Um, it's enemies to lovers with great banter, and it's a really simple and easy read, and I really loved it. Anyways, okay, the next one is A Door in the Dark, and I'm actually not sure where my copy went, so I'm just going to put a little picture of it. Um, this one is about six wizards who have to fight for survival after a spell goes wrong and leaves them stranded in the wilderness. Um, it has dark academia vibes, a great magic school, magical creatures, it's a quest for revenge, and the magic system in this book is so unique and creative. I did think when I was reading it that there was a little something missing from it, and I'm not sure what it was, but overall I really enjoyed this book and I really love the second one even more. Our next book is Forget Me Not, and when I started this book, I 100% did not think I would be sobbing by the end of it, but I definitely was. They were happy tears, so don't worry. Um, but it was such a beautiful book, literally. Like, can we just... So pretty. Um, basically, what would you do if the love of your life never knew you existed? That's what happens when one of our main characters, Stevie, has an accident and completely loses her memory of the last two years, including her memories of our other main character, Nora. Um, guys, I loved this book, and I know the amnesia trope gets a lot of hate sometimes, but with this book, it works so well, and it was so good. If I could take the feeling of warm summer nights spent with my best friends and put it into a book, it would be this book. This is Sky Painted Gold, and it is very The Great Gatsby-esque, but in my opinion, so much better than the original Great Gatsby. Um, it was such a lovely, surprising read, and I did not expect to love it as much as I did, but I really, I think this is maybe one of my favorite books right now. Um, if you love The Great Gatsby, if you love the rich party era of the early 1900s, you'll really love this one. Okay, last but not least is Curious Tides, and this one is a newer release, so I think that's why it's not very well known about yet. Um, this one is another dark academia with a magic school setting. Um, it's multiple POV, has a very creative magic system centered around the moon phases. It has secret society, it has um, forbidden magic, and I think if you like Ninth House and A Deadly Education, it's a little mix of those two, so I think you'll really enjoy this one, and I think you should check it out, plus it's... Um, it's another really, really pretty book.